in the time after plastic injection molding and before the rise of 3D scans, Mattel's Masters of the Universe sat atop the throne of the action figure kingdom. Such success breeds those paying homage to greatness and pretenders to the throne. These are their tales. Okay, so way back in 2015, the video game Mortal Kombat X was released onto the public, and along with it were a line of action figures based on the characters from the game made by Funko, but in the spirit of the Masters of the Universe figures. This may have seemed confusing to some people at the time as there was no retail Masters of the Universe line at the time of, uh, of the, these came out. These were the only things that looked like this, but looking at them right now, it's super obvious as to which way they were going with them. You have a five and a half inch chunky muscular figure on a vertical box, not unlike a Masters of the Universe figure. Got the uh, the five points of articulation or whatever. Uh, we'll find out as we open up the box. I'm going to show you one box here. Uh, it's Scorpion. Uh, as, as, as per the back of the box, Scorpion is the central character, and we see the cross-sell with uh, Raiden, Katana, Liu Kang, Sub-Zero, and of course in the center is Scorpion, and all of your legal, legal mumbo, mumbo jumbo, jumbo as well, um, and everything else, uh, multiple languages. Wonderful, wonderful stuff going on here on this pack. It's actually not too bad. These are actually pretty good for display, and I'm sure pretty much everybody that bought these kept them inside the box, um, like I did. I've had this in the box for years. I got this back when it came out. Um, I just haven't gotten around to opening it up, and I eventually open up everything. And we're gonna open up these figures and see what they look like on the inside. I've got all five that were on the back of the box. Um, one more thing before we do that. As we can see these figures here too, these weren't the only figures available. There were also variants, exclusives, chase figures, so on and so forth. I'm sure every single one of these figures had a chase variant, whatever. And I, and I gotta say, I, I thought there were more. I thought there were more of these Mortal Kombat figures instead of these five. Maybe this is just the first series. Um, but this is what I've got. I do have one of these figures that I have. I have all these characters. One of them is actually a chase figure. And we'll see once we get these open. But let's get these figures open and see what they look like outside of the box. Okay, so let's uh, start it off with Liu Kang, um, who I thought at least Liu Kang or Johnny Cage or Sonya Blade were the central characters of Mortal Kombat. Wrong! I was wrong. I was wrong. Um, so <laughs> that's fine. Let's take a look at Liu Kang. He is a basically a Masters of the Universe sort of uh, five points figure. Um, if that, uh, yeah, he's got a, got a head, got arms, whatever, built in that squatty buff body type, um, paint job. Looks pretty cool, I guess. Um, looks fine. Um, the, it almost looks like it's a little dusty or something. I mean, it's been in the box the whole time, so I'm not sure why, um, it looks dusty, uh, like it does, but, um, it's got the dragons on there. Nice little details. Cool little leather gauntlets, um, got the dragon on the back and the long 
ponytail going off the back there with the headband. Um, nice sculpt, very, very cool sculpt. And uh, the, the cool thing about these five and a half inch figures, they're gonna fit in just fine with your Masters of the Universe lines. So if you've got your Masters of the Universe figures uh, all out and displayed, you can mix and match these guys and the Savage World figures and the, uh, the DC Primal Age figures as well as those. But that is Liu Kang. All right, so next up is Katana. And uh, here she is uh, in all of her katana e glory. Actually has one more point of articulation on the waist. I know that you have to be very uh, ginger and careful with these figures because I have heard that the legs do pop off pretty easily. The pegs on the inside of what they're made of are really cheap. Unfortunately, these were made to be kept in the box and put on display, so uh, they didn't really fun code it and figure uh, people were gonna be opening these up, even though they did come with accessories that they can hold in their hands. She comes with her fans um, that she can barely friggin' hold onto her. All right, so she can't hold her accessories, so that's crap. Um, other than that, Fine sculpt, looks cool, looks like it who it's supposed to be. Um, I, you know, it would it'd be, you know, would have been too much to ask to add all the other characters in here. Maybe they did. Maybe there was a, a Melina and a Jade as well. That would have been pretty fucking cool. Um, but there it is. That's Katana. And now, here we go. Now we're getting into the really cool characters. Here is Scorpion, of which he is used in a lot of the uh, promotion for the games and stuff and seems to be now is the central figure in Mortal Kombat. Very, very cool uh, guy. Uh, we all know him from the, uh, the, the memes and the get over here uh, things and stuff like that. Uh, he can shoot fire out of his skull head. Very cool a ninja guy with all of his great accessories on him. Look at, look at the sculpt on these. I really like the, the design on these figures. It looks like Funko or whoever um, designed these things really took their time and really went into the design and really thought about you know, what they want these things to look like. Like these uh, straps that hang down and how everything kind of works together. He's actually pretty, poses pretty well, seems pretty solid. Um, and also comes with these two blades here and uh, let's see, let's see, does does they fit in the hand? All right, well, let's see if we can get him into his hand in the first place. I feel like I'm gonna break his thumb off. All right, bear with me a second. All right, so after um, a lot of force, I was able to get these blades into the hands, but after you get them in there, man, he holds on to them really well. So I guess, you know, uh, six of one, half a dozen of the other, at least he can hold his accessories well and uh, looks cool while he's holding them. Two big blades um, for slicing up enemies. Uh, very, very awesome. That is Scorpion. Here is the one and only Chase figure I have from the line. This is Raiden. Uh, Raiden has, uh, the, the regular one does have these lightning effects that come with him. Um, very, very cool accessory. Um, he's like surrounded by lightning, but my version, the one that I have here, the Chase figure, has uh, lightninged up hands and feet. So uh, the, made of the clear, plastic um, that looks like he's he's charging up for a big lightning blast. Very cool design on Raiden. You know exactly who it's supposed to be. Very recognizable character from the game. Another uh, character I would I would feel like is more of a central figure of the game than, than maybe Scorpion. But nonetheless, a very nice looking figure. Um, poses you know, just like any other five points Masters of the Universe style or six points with the waist um, figure that that we've got out there out there uh, right now. Any of these sort of uh, homage figures, I guess, uh, figures paying tribute to Masters of the Universe 
Um, this is what you're gonna get out of them, but very, very cool looking design, very cool looking sculpt. Uh, I'm pleased with this one as well. This is gonna display really awesome. That is rated. And finally, you know I like to save the best for last, or at least my favorite for last. Here is my favorite character from Mortal Kombat. And, uh, and trust me, I am not disappointed with this figure. This is Sub-Zero, uh, the, the guy with all the ice powers that uh, can turn you into a block of ice and then smash you into a million pieces. Some really nice sort of metallic effects on the gear. Um, very, very cool. Got the Lin Kuei uh, insignia on the, on, the, on the chest piece here. Um, he has his, comes with his ice hammer and an ice blade. Um, awesome looking mask. So we turn it around, we got the straps. Very, very awesome. I love this figure. I can't wait to set him up with all of my other Masters of the Universe style figures. Um, he's going to fit right in and look really, really awesome. That is Sub-Zero. Alright, so at the end of the day, um, this version or this homage to Masters of the Universe in the Mortal Kombat style is very, very cool. Funko, I think, did a, did a fine job for 2015 before we had the Origins line and knew what you could do with these five and a half inch figures. Um, this isn't a bad thing to have, especially since, you know, they were making them for people that were going to keep them inside the box. They weren't necessarily thinking about the playability or whatever. These things, things are supposed to be collectibles um, and they were made to be such and to be displayed. And as they were in the box, they would display pretty well. But in my opinion, um, taking them out of the box is where you really, uh, the figure really meets its purpose and serves its purpose. Uh, then you've completed the transaction once you've opened up the figure and then you can take a look at the back side of the figure and you can look at the poses and you can look at the accessories and put the accessories in their friggin' hands if they fit. And that's uh, really important to me and you know what, that's why I open these damn things up. And I open these up and I'm pretty goddamn happy with them. That's Mortal Kombat X figures by Funko.